everybody. My name is Dr. Ray Wynn Grant. I am joining you from the sunny state of California, and I'm so excited to introduce you to what I do for a living. I'm a large carnivore ecologist, and that means I am the type of scientist that studies meat-eating animals and how they interact with their environment. It is my favorite thing to do, and I can't wait to bring you along for the ride. A lot of people want to know, how do I know where these animals are? Well, it takes a lot of patience to just sit and wait in the wilderness until you find one of these big, ferocious animals. And then what I do next is pretty simple. Me and my team will sedate the animal, so just give it a little shot that puts it to sleep for a couple minutes, long enough to do a full body checkup and attach a GPS device to the collar of the animal, which lets me track its movements all the time without bothering it. This bear cub is about seven weeks old, so while she's away from her mother for a short time, we have to snuggle her tight to keep her warm. And that also means that when bears are hibernating in their winter den, I can go and check on them, make sure that they and their cubs are healthy and that they're going to survive the winter. We just put the babies in with the mother. We only have a little bit of time before she wakes up. I'm usually way out in the wilderness, whether it's the savannas of East Africa looking for lions or the rainforests looking for lowland gorillas. You can hear howler monkeys from miles and miles away in the forest. Or the Sierra Nevada mountains or the Rocky Mountains, where I look for black bears and grizzly bears. It takes me far away from home for long periods of time and away from my family, but I love it. I love watching it. I would never have the nerve to do it. <laughs> Joining us from her den in Santa Barbara, welcome Dr. Ray. What a fascinating life you live. Oh, thank you. I have to say I love it, but I would have never guessed I'd grow up to do this work. So, Because you're a city girl, you were raised in the heart of San Francisco. How did you even end up knowing that this could be possible? You know, I didn't know right away. I spent my childhood watching nature shows on television. And I just wanted to be like those guys I saw in the nature shows in the jungles and in the deserts and in the mountains. And it took me going to college to realize there's actually a science to what they're doing on nature shows and a science to studying wild animals. And once I figured that out, I was hooked. I mean, listen, we're looking at the video here with my team and, and the oohs and ahs from the tape when the huge bear tooth is, is there. <laughs> Do you ever get afraid? Yeah, you know, I can't lie. It's scary sometimes. I mean, wild animals are unpredictable. So despite all my training, despite everything I know to do, you always are at the mercy of what the animal's going to do. So every so often I get afraid, but it's all about remaining calm, just doing your job and being responsible. You are a mom. You just had a baby. <laughs> like I did. Yeah, I have a two week old. <laughs> you have a Oh, we go. You know, they tell you don't get in the way. Was it the mama bear? The most dangerous place to be is between a mama bear and her cub. You know, what okay. have you learned from watching these animals care for their own and the survival of that species being dependent upon that female caring for mm -hmm. that newborn? It links all of us. I mean, honestly, I was doing this work before I became a mother, but after I gave birth to my first child five years ago, I really saw all of these animals in a different way. And now I focus on female bears, especially to make sure that they are healthy in their ecosystems. And it's it's really, it's emotional for me sometimes because I want to protect these female animals because they are the future. If they're healthy, that means they can keep giving birth and we can keep having more and more wildlife out in nature. And that's kind of how I feel about people, right? Mm -hmm. We need to care for our women. We need to care for our mothers and society because we create the future. And it really links us all together as animals on this planet. What a special person you are and this incredible oh. journey. Congratulations, two weeks you just had oh, a baby. You. <laughs> Do you understand <laughs> if someone had asked me to come on TV two weeks after I had Moses, I get paid to come on and I would have said no. So <laughs> thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your beautiful thank baby. You. And I, I hope to see much more of your journey. It's, it's remarkable. Oh, thanks so much.